When Arsenal and Manchester City clashed last night, they had the best opportunity to go on top of the Premier League points table. But a goalless draw not only ruined their chances, but also ended up giving Liverpool the edge and going on top of the pile. The Arsenal vs City clash, which was touted to be a classic, ended up being a rather boring affair at the Etihad. And going by the intensity of Premier League, you know it takes one poor game and an exceptional one to decide the outcome of the season. And that exactly happened last yesterday. If it was poor show from two of the title contenders, Manchester City and Arsenal, it was yet another comeback magic from Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. So much so that even Pep Guardiola, the Manchester City boss, couldn't refrain from admitting that Liverpool are looking and playing like title favourites. The Arsenal vs Manchester City clash at the Etihad was touted to be a Premier League classic. The encounter was expected to be a high-scoring thriller but ended up being an ordinary draw. There was a lot of buzz before the game. The clash on March 31st was expected to be the potential title decider, a clash between the master and the student. And the student, Mikel Arteta, was deemed favourite because of injury concerns in the city camp. But the much-hyped contest failed to live up to the expectations. The goalless draw was far from graceful as points were shared. Pep Guardiola's side dominated with 73% ball possession. But a strong and wise Arsenal outfit didn't let numbers go against them. They stuck to the basics and marked the key man. Erling Haaland was given little room by Gabriel Magalhaes and it resulted in a poor showing by Haaland. A frustrated Haaland even clashed with Gabriel after the game. But before the matter escalated, Guardiola intervened. That fight was the only highlight from Haaland's lacklustre game. Haaland received a lot of criticism for his poor display against City. And the biggest one came from United legend Roy Keane. The level of his general play is so poor. Not just today. Laying stuff off, headers or whatever it might be. In front of a goal, he is the best player in the world. But his general play for such a player is so poor. He is almost like a League 2 player. His general play has to improve. It wasn't just Haaland who failed in the crucial encounter. Phil Foden, who has been a key man for City this season, failed to make his mark. And the substitutions too didn't help Guardiola. Jack Grealish came off the bench but unfortunately he too failed to convert the chances. And despite the possession and 12 shots, City could not go past a defensively strong Arsenal. The draw hurt Arsenal's chances to stay on top of the table too. But it was even more disappointing for City as they have failed to win a single game against Liverpool or Arsenal in the Premier League this season. No wonder they're sitting third on the points table. And after the loss, City boss Guardiola couldn't refrain from admitting that table toppers Liverpool are favourites to win the title. Always his first is his favourite. In the second favourite is Arsenal. In the third we are. Points. It's not in our hands, only we can do is um, Aston Villa next game try to, you know, to win the game. It's only we can do because always when we were top of the league, we were the favourites. It was in our hands, now it's not. Liverpool aren't just favourites because they're on top of the Premier League table, but they are contenders because they continue to capitalise on the chances offered to them. Apart from a 1-1 draw against City on March 10th, Jurgen Klopp's men have made the most of all opportunities presented. And their never-die attitude has been integral to their campaign. Yesterday's game against Brighton was another reflection of that. Inside two minutes, Brighton were leading at Anfield. But Liverpool came back strong to beat the tourists. First, it was Luis Diaz's goal in the 27th minute that brought Liverpool back on level terms. Then, it was a Mohamed Salah classic in the 65th minute that sealed the game for the Reds. So, it's not over unless Liverpool says it's over. And that's why it wasn't the City versus Arsenal draw that took Liverpool on top. But it was also because Liverpool continue to surge as the season progresses. With nine more games left in the Premier League, Liverpool are two points ahead of second-placed Arsenal. 
and with 64 points, Manchester City are third. So clearly the point difference isn't much and anything can happen from here on. But it's the games between title contenders that prove to be crucial and Liverpool seems to be a master of it. Given it's Jurgen Klopp's last season with the Reds and the players are aware of it. That's what makes Liverpool a far deadlier opponent. From here on, it's their title to lose.